If you want to apply for a fully funded scholarship in one of the top ranked universities in South Korea, then this video is for you. So let's start. Hello viewers, I am Amar Dilawar and in this video I will guide you about the scholarship and admission process at the Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology which is known as GIST. So GIST scholarships and admissions are now open and the last day to apply for this scholarship is 15th of April. And there are lot of benefits to apply at GIST for scholarship. For example, there is no application fee at GIST. You don't need IELTS to apply for this scholarship and there is no need to get a recommendation letter from supervisor before applying for this scholarship. So I recommend you to apply for this scholarship as soon as possible because it is very easy to get this scholarship and it is a fully funded scholarship. They will pay your tuition fee. They will also pay you monthly allowance. And in addition to this, if you are good at research and your professor is happy with you during masters and PhD, so he will give you some extra allowance every month. So it is a very good opportunity for you guys to apply for masters and PhD at GIST. So now I will guide you about the admission process. So first we will talk about the departments and majors which are available. So first I will tell you what are the departments or major which are available at Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology. So the departments which are available at Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology are Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Mechanical Engineering, Life Science, Chemistry, Integrated Technology, Energy Convergence, Material Science, Earth Science, Environmental Science, Department of Physics, biomedical science and artificial intelligence so these are the departments which are available in every department there are lot of research areas from where you can choose according to your previous degree so for example if you simply click on the department of life science so you can see the faculty and you can choose a supervisor according to your area of interest so the departments which are available are mostly related to science and technology so first step is to find a department relevant to you now i will guide you about the admission and scholarship process at the guangzhou institute of science and technology that how can you apply for scholarship at the guangzhou institute of science and technology so first step is to submit an online application there is a link in the description box you can assess the online application from that link so if you go to that link you have to make your profile by simply entering your information and after making your profile you have to log in into the system then you have have to submit the following documents first one is to submit an online application form then you have to submit your original degrees so your degrees must be notarized or apostilled or must be attested from a Korean embassy please keep in your mind that at this point you can submit your notarized degree but later if you will be selected for this scholarship then you must have to submit your degrees attested from the Korean embassy so I recommend you to please attest your Korean embassy now and submit your degrees attested from the Korean embassy because it will increase your chances for selection so if you want to know how to attest your degrees from Korean embassy or how to apostile your documents then I have a separate video for this. You can assess the video from the i button and I have also attached the link in the description box. Then you have to submit two letters of recommendation. Please keep in mind that GIST they have their specific letter of recommendation format. So you can download that format from the description box and after completing it and signing it from your previous supervisor you have to submit it on the online portal. Then you have to submit your passport and certificate of English proficiency. For certificate of English you can submit any certificate of English now from your dean or the chairman of your university that your medium of instruction in the previous degree was English. But once if you select it for this scholarship you have to submit your IELTS or TOEIC result. So IELTS band's requirement is 6.5 and TOEIC requirement is 750. But I would like to recommend you that now you have enough time. So if you want to apply for IELTS or TOEIC now, so it would be better for you and it will increase your chances for selection. If you get admission and scholarship at a GIST Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology, then at the time of enrollment, you have to submit a matriculation fee. 
which is 680,000 Korean won. But you have option to waive this matriculation fee at the time of submitting application. So while submitting your application, there is a one specific form which is matriculation fee waiver form. You need to download this form, fill this form and get a sign from the president and, and dean of the your last attended university that your financial condition is not so good so you are unable to pay this matriculation fee so in this way you can waive this matriculation fee so after preparing all the documents you have to submit all these documents on the online portal form and you have to submit your study proposal research proposal aims and objectives along with this online application form so after submitting online application form you will get an email from the international office within 15 days to one month that your application is okay then they will release the first round of results on the 15th of june so if you are selected in the first round and you have to submit hard copies of your documents to the guangzhou institute of science and technology and then they will announce the final results you can download all the forms related to this scholarship including how to submit online application format of recommendation letter application for matriculation fee waiver from the description box so this is a very simple procedure to apply for scholarship at the Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology. So if you have any question regarding the scholarship and admission procedure of Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology, then please ask your question in the comment section. I will try to answer all your queries as soon as possible. See you in next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.